Okay, this how-to video is gonna talk about the slide command and how to modify routing once you've done some routing in a design, maybe you need to make some modifications to it. Maybe you wanna make some space, maybe you wanna kinda of clear some areas so you can actually add more components, etc. or just adjust the routing. So we've got a slide command option. So if we go to the root menu, there's a slide command. This is available um, from the icon as well. So you can see this little icon over here. If we're in etch edit mode, so um, the application modes, etch edit mode, we can actually just click and drag and start to move a route if we want to. We can hover over a, a route, right mouse button, and do a, a slide. And then, so we can actually invoke it from the right click as well using the etch edit mode. If I invoke it manually, so we'll do the root, can, root slide command. I've got some options in the options pane so we can adjust things like the corner and size of the radius. The vertex action allows us to control what we're doing. So move, obviously we can move. We've got an edit, we've got a non. Arc corner, for example, if I tick, take one of the segments and start to slide, you can see actually gonna, I'm gonna get some arced radiuses here. If I do it with line corner, it'll actually start to adjust and it'll give me a, a line corner coming out as well. So you've got different options for how you want to control. In this scenario, I'm just gonna use the move function. Uh, I've got bubble mode turned to off. So the bubble mode allows me to kind of um, have more control. If it's off and I start to slide a segment, you can see I can actually, I can start to create a DRC error. I can cross other tracks. If I get to this location and I click to confirm, I would then get a DRC. Um, so bubble mode being off allows me to create DRCs, allows me to slide the tracks where I need to do. There are some scenarios where you might want to do this, but in general, um, I'd probably say try and have the bubble on in some form. So if I go to the bubble mode, I can use shove preferred, hug preferred, or hug only. If we use shove preferred, and I start to slide, you can see it'll actually physically start to push the C lines out of the way as I go along. Um, so it won't create DRC errors for me, it'll do its best to kind of to resolve any issues, but maybe I want to move this via when I'm routing. So if we actually then say shove wires, we'll turn this to full, smooth, we'll turn this to full, and then when I shove, again, the same C line, the wire starts to move. And then eventually the wire will then just pop back in the original location because I've gone beyond that point. So you have a little bit of control about how you want the wire to move and, and slide around. Okay, so that's one of the options. If I change this to hug only, what it will do is it will try to hug based on the actual rule. So you can see, I pick the segment here, it's physically gonna cut it and start to hug to the closest available um, track based on the DRC spacing that I have. So same scenario, it was gonna hug, it's gonna hug along there. So you can very, very quickly use it to, to hug specific items. There is some options here, so I've got, if I've got a route that's maybe been length matched, um, maybe I want to maintain the shape of these, so these are effectively three segments. Um, without the extend selection, when I slide, you can see it's just gonna try and slide that segment downwards, but if I actually go to the extend selection option, when I slide down, it's gonna maintain the integrity of that shape that we've got, so the three segments there, so very, very quickly you can start to tidy up your, your delay tuning routing that you need to do. There is also an auto join, so it will join all the tracking together. So if I do auto join, it will then start to tidy things up for me um, very, very quickly. So you can actually get it to auto join if you've got staggers in segments, etc. The auto join is useful as well. 